I have a question for you. Do you ever have that feeling where you just get addicted to eating rocks for dinner? Why? For eating rocks? Or eating weird stuff? Well, yeah. Well, that, I, well, let me tell you something. I have never had that addiction. But today, we, today we're going to be looking at this lady who eats rocks for dinner, who eats rocks, and who is addiction, addicted to eating rocks. Okay? So, let's watch this. A Bedford, Virginia. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. I mean, okay, let's pause this video, okay? Nobody gets addicted to eating rocks. That's just weird. I mean, I mean, just stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I would be able to Listen to that crunch. Do you hear that? Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. 20 years? She was initially... 20 years? That was longer than I was even alive. So... Um, 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 uh, how wouldn't you be, like, fat, or how are your teeth still in? If you eat rocks, aren't your teeth supposed to break? I mean, it probably tastes like dirt, which tastes really bland, but, I mean, just, why? Why? Who just does, who just starts eat, coming to the place and starts eating rocks all the time? Let's go on. Attracted to the earthy smell. I was just out walking one day. Okay. So, we're about to see how she got the addiction to eating rocks. And, yeah, how, I don't know why it should, well, I mean, rocks smell, oh, I do have a little smell, but I wouldn't say that it's, like, a good smell or whatever, because, yeah, let's just go on with the video. I had no attention of biting into it or chewing it. She's walking in uh, dead, and once Virginia. I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. Good. It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. Okay, so, um, her, her eyes look like she's crying a little bit. Um,. I don't know if this was planned or not, but, yeah, it says TLC, so it's probably not planned. Hmm, this lady got to do something about that addiction. I'm very worried about Teresa. When your body can't handle what you're putting inside of it. Did you see that? She, she was drinking, she was eating those rocks out of a medication bottle. Let's go on with this video. It's going to rebel against you. Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals including granite Here, Roxy, I'll get you up. Come. she uses a Come on. to break them up into bite-sized pieces this is about the size I like it because um, it's not as you could to swallow you could easily choke on those rocks okay let's just get on with the video and I'll talk I would well. normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth good. Or no it doesn't look good bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth and She took it out of her mouth. So do you really put the whole piece in your mouth? I don't think you can. That's possible without taking it out of your mouth. Get the earthy taste of it. She eats two pounds of rocks a day. I will eat them in front of anybody. I'm not ashamed of it. So it doesn't really bother me. Next. <coughs> Next video. My name is Teresa. I'm 44 years old. Yeah, what I'm state from is she from? Okay, now she's addicted. This lady is addicted to smelling gas. Oh, she's from Pennsylvania. I thought it said Virginia. My name is Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I'm from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And I'm addicted to smelling gasoline. What? That, that, I mean, gasoline does have a pretty good t smell. It's weird, but, um... Yeah, yeah, I don't like smelling it that often. I mean, I, um, it smells okay, like, like, 
Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm speechless right now. When I wake up in the morning, uh, the first thing I do is I roll over, sit up, and smell my gas bottle. When I wake up, I probably think, mm, my breath stinks. I should probably go brush my teeth. I don't go get my water bottle out filled with um, gas, um, Aline, and start to sniff it. Yeah. Come on. Come on, lady. Come on. You need to get some help, dude. I'm not waking up like, oh, oh, where's my, where's my gasoline? Oh, there it is. Let me open it. And plus, if I was just awake from like a second ago, I'd probably accidentally drink it. Uh, probably not that, but yeah. That, that was probably a fake scene, I know. But, because she's in her clothes, but it's just hard, actually weird to know that she doesn't. Then I'll get up, take another sniff of the gasoline. And then I'll come downstairs, and a couple minutes later, I'll take another sniff of it. Now it kind of looks like urine in the Teresa bottle, though. been addicted to smelling gasoline for over 30 years. Hold on one, one second. Did you kind of see that the bottle was going down every day? That probably means she's drinking it. Oh, no, I, I, I don't know if she is or not, but I actually kind of noticed that. She takes a sniff every 10 minutes and even wakes up in the middle of the night for a fix. I don't even know how to explain how it smells. I just love the smell of it. How it makes my nose feel inside the back of my... Th Same with me, but I don't smell it. I don't... I don't smell it every day. That can't be good for you. She was so relaxed by just the smell of that. Teresa was only 13 years old. When her dad asked if she wanted to smell his gas can. Um, oh, so it's her dad's fault. I get it. I don't get it why would she ask to smell the gas can. But that looks I pretty creepy in her face. Time, when and that was all it took. Now she stashes four water bottles filled with gasoline throughout the house for easy access. No matter where I'm. Yeah, that definitely looks like urine. Am I going to get demonetized? Well, no, I'm not going to get demonetized because I already told what it was. I have a bottle with me. I keep it either in my purse or in my jacket pocket. When I eat, it's sitting right there at the kitchen table in case I get that urge. Um, wait a minute. That might make me feel better. Teresa takes a sniff of gas about 100... What? Okay, okay, okay. That, that, that's not possible. When I walked into her, the first thing that hits me is the smell of gas. It smells like you're walking into a garage. And now we're smelling gas while you're cooking. And your now her boyfriend you don't like it, go upstairs. But Teresa doesn't have gasoline, watch out. No, she does get very angry. Yeah, what do you think it's going to your health? What I, do you think I, it's going to your brain? Or? I don't know. I can't answer that. But I'm not going to sit here and have you throw it in my face when, you know... You, I'm not throwing I, it in your I, face. I, I I'm quit, just saying. Quit, that's been... She is a little bit sassy over here. I hate that word, but still, it's true. I've been for years, but you're still smelling gas. Teresa doesn't work and is supported by her boyfriend. She spends almost four hundred dollars. Are you a sure those uh, are you in Pennsylvania? Yeah, that doesn't look like a Pennsylvania. You know, take plate. the last couple dollars we have just to go get the gasoline can filled because I have to have my gasoline to snap. I come to the gas station about twice a week. The more I go to the gas station, the fresher the gas is. I've heard her talk about situations where she chose the gas over buying food or something like that. She just needs her fix. Okay, we have one more addiction, and it's somebody addicted to drinking air freshener. This that has to be toxic. My name is Evelyn. I'm 27 years old. I live in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and I'm addicted to drinking air freshener. Um, all right there. You need to uh, kind of stop doing that because, yeah, I hope you don't have kids doing that in front of them. I love air freshener. I have some air conditioner. I have some air freshener with me right now. Let, let's see. Glade. 
Yes, this is toxic. So, how are you not dead by now? Absolutely. What I love about drinking air freshener is the taste. There is a million air fresheners out there, but the one that I like is fresh linen. I've tried other scents, but I don't like them. None of them taste like they say they smell. Cinnamon is not cinnamon. Apple crisp is like dirt. Chance. I've got to have fresh linen. I literally crave it. In the last three years, there's not a day where I've not had it. I really want to know how, wh why she goes through 20 cans of air freshener a week and why she um, started drinking this air freshener. Because, let's just go on. You want to taste it? You should taste it. Come on, come on. My fiance thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> My future wife, Evelyn? Oh, so you have a fiance. Yeah, uh-huh. You have a fiance. I, I, I'm surprised you do have a fiance. Go, let's go. Ahead. Oh, this is I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it's unhealthy because if you look at it, it says flaming. He's kind of my enabler. Yeah, that's right. It does say flaming. He'll get a couple of cans that he thinks that he may need. Evelyn actually wakes up in the middle of the night and she will spray. And then I'll wake up and then she'll lay back down and act like she didn't do it. Um, I'm sorry, Evelyn, but um, you had the bottle of air freshener right next to you, so your fiance's probably gonna know that you drink air freshener. Go on. She swears in her mouth and then she asks me for a kiss. Why did she swear in my mouth? Are you going Um, okay. Um, okay. Um. Robert, next time you go to the bathroom, flush the toilet. That's right, listen, you're mad. We'll negotiate. Love is powerful, She's I guess. not going to stop. Because he'll just drink it to make yeah. me happy. Okay. Yeah, let's just get to the end. It's very good in the video. Too. I really don't. I mean, this okay. has to be a joke. Nobody eats Wait, air freshener. When, when did you start? Did start? Really? I first started with the air freshener when Mom passed away. And then it just kept going. Because I had to be strong for her. I'm sure. Oh, okay, so I found a clip where she, um, where she went, where, how she got, um, addicted. I'm not gonna, um, she does have kids, actually, and I'll just tell you it. Well, she got addicted because she wanted to go get some crushed ice from her refrigerator to get water, and then, um, that one of the air fresheners went off and then it was the fresh lemon flavor and then she she just um she kind of liked it so yeah that is end the, it for the video if you like the video um subscribe and see you in the next video